everybody, welcome back to Imperial and Truck of the Week. So we have a sharp looking Freightliner today and Corey's gonna tell us a little bit more about it. Yeah, this year's a 2023 Freightliner 108 SD. This is for fans arcade pumping service. Um, great looking truck, black and chrome. Yeah, uh, it's a clone to what we did for him in the past. Um, thanks John for your business, continued business. And this one here has got a Cummins L9, 370 horse motor in it. It's got the Allison 3000 series automatic transmission. Uh, 4,200 gallon aluminum tank, painted black to match the cab. This one does have the wireless remote package. If you wanna come in and get a close up of this, I'm sure you've all seen this. So you can turn the blower PTO on and off. You can adjust the RPMs of the engine for the RPM preset. And you can go from neutral to vacuum or to pressure, all with the push of a button. And then we can open and close some intake valves too. And that's as far as we took it on this truck. If you did have a jetter on it, you could also turn the PTO on for the jetter as well as the blower. Mm -hmm. So uh, on this side of the truck, engineering did a great job laying this one out ahead of time, making sure we could fill it up with toolboxes. We were able to do a 48 inch box on the driver's side. Got a couple extra lights in the tray. These trays we actually polish too. So that is an op something we offer. If you did want your trays to have a little bit brighter finish to them, we can polish them out for you. Diamond plate chip guard, um, get to the rear of the truck. This one's fitted up with a stainless steel bumper. Our standard is a carbon steel powder coated black, but you can upgrade to a stainless steel if you did want to. So on the rear here, we did some rub bars for the hoses to keep them off the paint job. The hose hooks we left unpainted. That way everything, you got all the, all the friction and all the movement of the hoses isn't tearing up the paint job. Everything's well protected. Um, here's your air cylinder. It's got a control inside the cab and at the outside here to open and close that valve. That one is not on the remote. They didn't want that, but they did do their intake on the wireless remote. But it's so this possible one, to do all of them, right? You can do up to three valves. It all depends how many functions you have on here. Okay. Um, we can get different remotes with more buttons on it if you need more than what we offer. But this one, he just wanted to switch in the cab and at the rear, but the intake he wanted remote controlled. And then also when you get up to the front of the truck on the passenger side, it's got a front intake on it. So with our front intakes on aluminum trucks, we go ahead and use a stainless steel pipe, comes off the front, elbows over, and then you can have an intake off the passenger or the driver's side. And for this truck here, this one is also wireless, remote controlled. And then, like I said, we were able to fit, you know, squeeze pretty much all the frame space with the toolboxes. Got another 48 over here and a 36. Yeah, um, a yep. And then all the valves are heated too. We got stainless steel heat collars on all three of the valves with some isolation valves if you want to shut them down in the summer months. There's also, I saw the light package back there. Yep, we got some strobes and let's take a look at the front grill. We did a couple strobes on the rear you probably saw and then we threw four on the front. Nice. But all in all, a gorgeous build. Paint shop did a great job on the tank. Everything looks great. If you're interested in a truck like this or anything similar, give our sales team a call 1-800-558-2945 or you can check out our website, subjecttruckcenter.com.